everyone, Linda here. I'm an independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm on here today to share a haul, actually two small hauls that arrived today. Um, most of it is wax. There's a couple other little odds and bods here, but it's mostly wax. Uh, one is just some bundles of wax. Um, I did get a couple six packs. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm going to do a transition video. Uh, fall and winter officially started August 1st and our catalog is now in play, looking very fall, fallish. <laughs> but it is still scorching hot here. It's probably where you live as well, um, very warm. And it's really difficult to come up with scents to warm. I am I still have a stash of uh, spring and summer, a few bars, and I'm sure you guys do too. But I'm just chomping at the bit to do fall scents. So I thought what I'd do is share my ideas of bars that would lend themselves well from the hot weather into the cooler weather. You know, as we're warming into September, things that might be doable when the weather is still quite warm because some of those heavy spicy scents would be very difficult to deal with in 30 plus degree temperatures. That's, that's in Celsius. Um, anyway, so I'm going to come up with a video. I'm going to do that probably next um, and I wanted to get some bars because I have a stash from last fall and winter still. I'm going to incorporate some limited time offers. I'm going to incorporate some bring back my bars, things that I think some of you might have on hand as well that will help stretch stretch the list. And um, I ordered two six packs to sort of help because I do like to have the bar on hand when I do the video. I do I will use testers for a couple of things, but anyway, I that's that's the next video. I did have a six pack for one of my girl gangs. And then I did a monthly club and it is my, what I call my in out club in that I don't have a regular monthly club. I just, um, use it when I need something. Uh, when you order in a club, you can get bricks. <laughs> and when I want a brick, so I, I usually do something and order through my monthly club. And then when I got it shipped, I just cancel it and then wait till the next time I need something. And, so that's what I've done this time. Um, I wanted to get some bricks and I watched a YouTube friend of mine, April Lee, April Lee Wax Queen, go check out her channel. She's, she's great. She did that. She did a monthly haul and decided she wanted to stock up on some bricks. And I thought, brilliant idea. I do too. <laughs> because some of the scents you can only get in the club now through bricks. So let me go, let me show you what I, I did pick up three bricks and a brick is a brick is this and a bar is this, this and this is like five and a half bars so I'm gonna use Canadian dollars when you order a brick through your club just regular it's thirty two dollars that's a great deal still for five and a half bars um, if you get to forty dollars in, in uh, when you're ordering you get ten percent off so this is 32, you add something to it, you've got 10% off. Um, that takes this bar brick, I mean, down to 2880 Canadian. And if you do the math, five and a half bars into 2880, that's 520 a bar, that's a good deal. So um, it's worth getting a brick. So she did it, I thought that's a great idea, I'm gonna haul some bricks, and I did get a couple of other items in that club, and it got me to 80 and Canadian, and if you get to 80 Canadian, you get a half price item. So two bricks I bought, a couple of other items, and then I got a brick for half price. <laughs> that's $16, so that's also a smoking deal. So thank you, April, <laughs> great suggestion. And so I've done that, I ordered it, canceled my club. Um, club is a good way, that monthly club. If you if some things you can't bundle and save, like you can bundle and save bars. You can get six bars for the price of five, so you get one free. You can bundle um, some other things, uh, cleaning products, laundry products, um, you know, body care products. So if you can bundle and save, you can often get a good deal. But sometimes there's things that you can't bundle and save, like bulbs or travel twists now. 
Um, and so uh, if you put them in your club, you get 10% off. And sometimes you don't want more than one item, you know, of, say in body care. You get, you can get it for 10% off. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. I'll just get to the products. So the very first thing I did pick up in my monthly club, two counter cleans. These are for my girl gang. They love this stuff. One has one ordered uh, vanilla mint and vanilla mint I think is wintergreen and citrus and vanilla. And it was in a bar last fall winter, but it's not those that bar has been discontinued and now it's come out in the cleaning and it's in this adorable packaging, which I really like. So that's for one of the girls. And then the other one wanted squeeze the day and squeeze the day is a, is a, was a bar in the catalog that went year round. And this year is the first time that I know of that they are not putting this bar sun, uh, squeeze the day into the catalog in the winter and it is lemon and vanilla cream so it's a lemon really lemony with just a hint of like sweetness that cuts back it's not really sweet it just cuts down the lemon a bit anyway this is a great cleaner a uh, great fresh scent it's also available in a brick in the club now but not in a bar anyway those two are for customers then I did try, I did order this travel twist. This is new since he's brought it out. You can't bundle and save those. There's only about seven cents. I think there's one uh, fall scent that's coming in the travel twist. I can't remember which one. I think the maple one. Anyway, it's sort of like this. It's just a plastic and I get, I'm not gonna open it because I wanna, I'm not gonna use it right away, but uh, you slide it and then this, these little windows open and you can sort of uh, decide how strong or how big you want the openings to be, you know. Anyway, I'm going to try this. Uh, they had the weirdest scents in this, from, from my thinking. I wanted to try it and replace um, replace a scent pack in my linen closet and compare how this does compared to a scent pack. I'm going to start making my own scent packs, I think, with uh, whiffs. Um, but I want to try this. This might be, you know, work really well. So I'm going to try it. And it's in, this one is in Clean Breeze, and this is just white florals and laundry. And it does smell laundry. It, that, this was the only one I thought was suitable for a linen closet. So I'm trying it. I'll let you know how it, how it does. Anyway, that was in my club, and then my three bricks. And the first brick I got was Sun Kiss Citrus. And this is just orange lemon, grapefruit, and lime. And this again, this used to carry over from all the season to season to season, and it's been discontinued this winter. I'm not sure why. I really like it. It's just basically an orange smell to me. I mean, it's citrus, but it smells very orangey to me. It's not at all tart. I really like it, and I mix it with a lot of things. If I wanna tap down something too spicy, I, I use Sunkissed Citrus. Uh, if I wanna, you know, make a bakery less bakery, I use Sunkissed Citrus. Um, it, it blends well with everything. So I have, I think, a half a brick, and now I have this one. And it just made me feel like, okay, I've got it. I've got it now, so really like that one. I did pick up baked apple pie. I wanted baked apple pie. I was gonna get it in the bars, and then I thought, oh, you know, you go through a bar so quickly. I'm not sure of the brick because I've heard from other people that baked apple pie performs really well. And then for some people, baked apple pie doesn't perform really well. Um, I've only warmed it a couple of times and it was such a long time ago, I can't remember how it did. Uh, so I hesitated on the brick only because I find sometimes bricks don't do as well as individual bars. But then I, did, I thought of all the things I could use baked apple pie with this winter. And if you smell it, it's got apples. It says crust apples and spices, baking spices, pie spices. I don't, I, ne I don't smell any crust in it, maybe ever so slightly. It's mostly the apple filling and the spices, which is delicious. Um, you could add a crust note to it, like I have um, oats and honey, uh, I think there is a some kind of uh, cr crumble thing coming in to bring back my bars. I think you could uh, add a crust to this. 
But my idea for this bar is to um, add it to things to make everything smell cozy and yummy, you know. So anyway, I'm gonna play around with it. Got five and a half bars worth. <laughs> and then my half price one, I, my beloved welcome home. Now, people think this is boring. It's spices and cinnamon and spices. I love it. Um, ooh, there's a little bit of a crack in there. That's okay. Um, I have a little bit of my other one left, but I'm almost through it. I love this one. This one smells, it smells a bit like a craft store or if you go into a really nice um, artisan shop, you know, um, it that smell, that sort of just nice light spice, you know, papri type smell. I, um, I really like it. I warm it all the time in my living room. Um, and it's one of those scents that somebody would come in your house and they would think your house smelled really nice and welcoming, but they wouldn't be able to sort of say, oh, that smells like apple, or mm, that smells like, you know, lemon. It's just like a nice, calm, I say this all the time, zen. <laughs> anyway, um, I really like it. I used the pods last winter in my car and I loved it. So it's one of my favorites. Anyway, those are my bricks. Thank you, April. It was a great suggestion. So that was my club and now, now that's done. And then I have my order. I'll share my girl, one of my girl gang ordered a six pack and I'm always fun to see what they order. Uh, she was at the Sip and Sniff and picked this, these six. Um, the first one she did is from the new coll new collection, and that's Velvet Moon. And I think that's va Vanilla Flower Musk and something else I can't remember. Anyway, I, have, I, I am going to uh, review these new scents. I haven't had time to, to warm them when my grandchildren are here, but I have started on them, and... Um, I have some yays and some nays <laughs> for sure. Um, I'll give you more thoughts on them. Anyway, this is a pretty, pretty one. I really liked it too, and I think she'll like it. It's very nice. I hope she doesn't mind. I'm sniffing them. I'm sure she doesn't. The next one I also have warmed, and that is white, amber, and silk. And um, that is amber, bergamot, and cotton. And it does smell very cottony when you smell it on cold, and you can smell the amber but warming it's quite nice. I was quite surprised. Anyway, more on that when I review it, but I, I, I did really like this. It's probably like a bedroom or maybe in here if I want to like, you know, sort of a peaceful scent. Anyway, that's in the new, those are both new bars. Then she did pick up, pick, pick up, picked, she did pick up, sorry, um, vanilla cinnamon maple. Now this was a uh, brick last Christmas and it made it into the catalog. I have the brick still. I love the scent. It's um, cinnamon, vanilla, and sweet whipped cream. And for all of that maple cinnamon cream, it doesn't, it smells like all those things, but it's not overpowering and cloying. When I warm it in my main living space, it's quite nice. So she really liked it. I gave samples last year from my brick and she liked the scent. It's a, it's a, good, it's a good winter, fall winter scent and not too cloying. Uh, she also did Cozy Cardigan. I think she's, I think this is a reorder for her. And oh, I like Cozy Cardigan. I meant to order myself one. This would be a great bedroom scent. I did you do my tester in my overnight warmer and it was really nice. And this is, Amber silk, rose, and suede, I think. Anyway, very, very pretty. Uh, she ordered toasted acorn and oak. This was in my club last season, and I was able to take it out because it came back in the catalog. It came in the catalog. Last year, it was part of the Harvest collection, and I, it was my favorite, and it is just like toasted acorn, um, chestnut, and golden oak, I think. 
Anyway, it's really nice and it's a long, long, long lasting bar. It lasts long and it's nice and it reminds me of roasted chestnuts with just a hint of some sweetness, just a hint though. It's very, very nice. It's uh, a great, all, I warm it in every room of my house. Anyway, she's getting that and then she's getting around the campfire. And um, this was a favorite of hers. She's had it before and it's fresh fallen wood smoky embers um I, there's another i think it's mountain air or something i don't really get mountain air to me this smells like most smoky embers i warm this outside all the time i warm it at camping everyone comments on it when i warm it outside i really really like it to me it has a, a back note though that's not in the description it's sort of like a marshmallow a toasted you know when you toast a marshmallow you get a bit of that and you smell the, the marshmallow You've got, and especially if you've really toasted it, so there's a bit of burnt kind of edges. It smells sweet, but at the same time, embery. That's what this reminds me of. I really like it. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video, I, I, I haven't warmed it by itself in my living room because I, I feel like it's a little much for that space, but uh, I will be playing around this winter trying to find the perfect blend to warm it in my house as well. Anyway, that's her six pack and get that off to her today. And I want to quickly go through the other six. Um, this one, first one is Perfect Pear and that's one of the new ones and I, I didn't have it and I ordered it in this bundle so I could review it. Uh, it is pear, spice syrup, and bourbon and I don't smell the bourbon but I do get a like a syrupy sweetness from my uncle. It's not a favorite of mine on cold because uh, I'm not a big fan of pear. But um, at my sip and sniff, I let every, uh, had a I had a door prize, and the door prize was you could pick any bar in my stash, and uh, someone picked this, so I needed to get another one so I could try it out. Then there's cider mill, one of my favorites. I didn't have one left over from last year. This apple pumpkin and spices, and it smells like cider. Now. I've been, I did warm sips of cider and I'll review that later. Sips of cider does not hold a candle to this one. Sorry, <laughs> but more on that later. This smells just like cider. Uh, it's a lovely fall staple. And actually this will probably be in the, well, all of these bars will be in the transition video because I think they all have a place there. The next one is Harvest Blessings and that is uh, apple, pumpkin, and oak. So it's got the apple and the, you know, they say apple and pumpkin. Sometimes the, the, the guts of it, the guts of it, um, you know, the apple and the pumpkin are there, but that's not the first scent you get. Like with Harvest Blessing, I get more of a perfumey uh, pumpkin with a nice oaky, you know, sort of background. It's got a little more of a, uh, room freshen, freshener scent to it. I really liked it and um, it would be a good transition. Pumpkin roll, mm, this is a bakery, I love this one. It's just like pumpkin pie, yellow cake, pecans, butter and spice. I don't get much pumpkin pie, I get a lot of cake. It smells like a delicious cake uh, with a little bit of, and it's, but it's not so cloying like, yeah. The butter and the pecans you can smell. I love this pumpkin roll. Polar bear hug. I have this one. I just warmed the tester in my overnight warmer. It was so nice. And polar bear hug is blackberry jam, brown sugar, and vanilla and amber. So it's got a bit of a sweetness but and a tiny bit of freshness, but uh, it's mostly that nice amber and um, vanilla. I really like it. That's a good transition, and like I said, I just warmed it in my bedroom. I could warm it right now. I also got around the campfire. I just discussed that, so I won't. That's my six pack there. But around the campfire is a great transition because it brings the outdoors in. Uh, the next one is first day of fall. Oops, sorry. First day of fall is pumpkin, woods, uh, some spices, nutmeg. I think I can smell nutmeg. Anyway, it has a woody note. It's got a bit of the 
Well, I mean, pumpkin. Pumpkin sometimes just makes things creamy. It's not necessarily a pumpkin scent. I can smell a bit of pumpkin though, but it's mostly the woods, the autumn woods. And I think that's what this is. is it brings that autumn wood sort of leaf smell. Uh, the next one is uh, Blue Sage and Tonka. This I really like. It's sage, lavender, and tonka bean. And I could warm this now. I like, it's got sage and that lavender, it says black lavender and I don't know what black lavender is. The only thing I've ever heard of that's black lavender is a tea. There is a tea called black lavender that I, I think I drank it back in my hippy dippy days. Anyway, um, it, uh, it's a really nice sort of earthy, um, calm scent. I quite like it. The next one is autumn road trip. And that's apple, pear, and oak as well. But it has a little different spin on the apple, pear. Well, I guess it's the pear, it's no pumpkin. Apple, pear, and oak. And you can really smell the oak. I like the smell of oak. And definitely you can smell the pear and the apple. So it's a little bit different play. It's not the pumpkin, it's the pear. I don't usually like pear, but that's nicely done. Uh, orchard, apple, and spice. This was also fall was it fall I believe so I think it was in the fall bundle and this is a weird one because look there's no there's no categories usually the newer bars have the categories on the back which is interesting because this was just released last year must be an old bar it looks has a bit of that sort of oh yeah look <laughs> anyway uh, orchard apple uh, and spice. I I wasn't a fan. Of, I mean, it's apple, cherry, and spices. It's not very spicy, though. You can smell the cherry, though, and you can smell the apple. So it's like a fruity all. That's why it's in this pile, because I think it'd be a good transition. Anyway, uh, and then I have scarlet sunflower, which I've never warmed. A lot of people that like it, though, and it's apple, cranberry, and sunflowers. I think what happened is I smelled the tester and the wax on cold has no, you can smell a little bit of the apple and it's, yeah, and, and a bit of flour, but you, you know, I didn't think sunflower smelled like anything, but anyway, I'll try it. I thought it would be a floral and florals usually lend themselves, you know, to uh, warmer weather. And the last bar in that bundle is tinselberry. And um, this is strawberry, cranberry, and sugar. And it smells quite berry and straw. Actually, it smells more berry. It smells strawberry. You can smell the strawberry and it, and you can smell um, the cranberry. But it's more like a berry, not so much cranberry. And then sweetness. Anyway, I didn't warm it last year, but a couple of my uh, trustworthy YouTubers, I think Robin H, I think it was her, a couple of people have liked it, and I thought with the strawberry, because uh, I have some strawberry bars that I'm going to warm in the next month, and uh, this would be a good transition. Anyway, that's my second six-pack. Anyway, that's it. Stay tuned. I'm going to do a whole video on bars to use. I'm going to try to keep it short. <laughs> I'm also working on... Uh, I, I'm copying, again, Robin, to, name drop. <laughs> uh, she just did a tour of her wax stash where she keeps her wax. And so I thought mine's not as elaborate as hers, but I thought I'd share mine. I'm working on a little video of that. And then I have a couple of ideas. Um, I'm going to do a couple of little, like I'm coming up with some kind of flashy name for a short little videos that I can do to share things with you. Anyway, that's down the road a bit, but anyway, stay tuned for my transition in the next day or two. Well, I'm going camping on Sunday, so it might be a week. <laughs> um, anyway, that's my next video. My tour is going to be in there as well. So stay tuned. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, I would appreciate that. And uh, come back and watch. And please leave comments. Uh, it's like our way of having a conversation. I love hearing your comments. So. Anyway, I hope you have, let's see, what day is it today? Today is Wednesday. I guess it's midweek. Happy hump day. <laughs> um, and we'll see you soon. Bye.